In this video, I'm gonna give you the top five accessories that you need for your 9Bot Max. We'll cover off some safety, security, convenient and refreshing accessories that will top your 9Bot off. Hey there, YouTube family, and welcome. My name is Dan, and I'm the wannabe geek. I'm just an average guy with an above average interest in all things technology. And I love making tech videos for the average person with an above average interest in all things technology. And we'll cover off these five accessories that will enhance your 9Bot Max experience. So these scooters are doing anywhere in excess of 15 to 18 miles per hour, 25 to 30 kilometers per hour here in Australia or those using the metric system. So if you're going that fast, you're gonna want something that is gonna save this noggin if you do come off. And most local legislation and local government regulations will require this, that you have some sort of safety. So your first 9-bot accessory should be one of these. That's right, you're gonna need one of these bad boys. You know what, you should be out there riding with safety anyway. Uh, this thing here is actually quite a cheap item. In Kmart, you can get one of these. There's a huge range of helmets in the bike section. Just go grab yourself a helmet. You don't worry what you're gonna look like. You already look bad enough as it is, so uh, who cares? You know what, people are actually more interested in you riding the scooter. They think you look so cool anyway. So having this thing here doesn't really matter. Just go out and enjoy it. But this is the first accessory you need to invest in. Here in Australia, Kmart, 25 bucks, simple. Go grab one. The second thing you're gonna need is something for security. You wanna save that investment. Okay, hang on a second. That's better. Anyway, you're gonna wanna save that investment. These scooters are not cheap. So you're looking anywhere from about $1,100 to $1,200 here in Australia to purchase one of these 9Bot Maxes. So it's not a cheap investment. You wanna invest in something that's gonna be secure. So I would suggest go get yourself a decent, uh, thick wire cable with a padlock. Get yourself, get yourself one of these padlocks where it actually has the, what do you call it? Combination lock. Get yourself a combination lock. You don't want to be carrying around the keys and lose the keys, you lock your, you lock your scooter up. But this is beautiful for when you're going out for a ride, you're, you're out in a nice part of the countryside, you're riding your scooter along, and you come across a nice area that you want to explore. It could be the water, it could be the bush, it could be anywhere. But you want to leave the scooter and you can't take it with you. You could even be at a cafe uh, on the street or whatever, and you want to lock this thing up. Yet the security on the um, Ninebot does have it does actually have a security feature on the application. You can lock the scooter via the app, and the application is not too bad for that sort of a feature. Uh, if you are sitting down at a cafe or, or you're sitting down somewhere near the scooter, it's still gonna be connected to the Bluetooth, and it will alert you with a vibration and a flashing on the screen of the application. My understanding, though, is the application needs to be open and running uh, for this to work. Alrighty, okay, so you've been out and about, you've been on a big ride. Okay, you're gonna get thirsty. So the third thing you want, the third accessory that you need for your 9Bot Max is a bottle holder. Seriously, it seems simple, but this little thing here on the handles, 10 bucks from a bike store. That's right, 10 bucks. So after you've been out and about all day on the scooter, you wanna quench that thirst. So you're going to need to have something to hold your bottle. So get yourself a bike cup holder, bottle holder for your scooter. Uh, this one here is on there by a simple little fix uh, with some zip ties. Just mount it on there like that and uh, fits perfectly. Bottle's in there. Simple. So that's the third thing you want. One of the things I love doing while I'm out on my scooter is grabbing the amazing footage of incredible scenery that I get to view. If I'm riding around the beaches, if I'm riding along the river, depends where I'm riding, there's such beautiful scenery all around. It's even great to view it around the streets and you do a lot of cool things like the hyperlapse uh, the, or just actually speed the footage up that you've got. So the fourth thing you wanna get yourself is the GoPro handlebar holder. This way you can attach your GoPro to the handlebars. But the other thing is you can speed it up, do the hyperlapse. Um, but there's some things that you'll ride around and you won't see whilst riding around. But when you look back at the footage, you've got it there and it's a great way to capture what's going on. 
The other attachment for is attaching your phone to it and using it and connecting the application uh, to identify and actually look at the speedometer on there as well. So the fourth accessory is the Go Handlebar Go Pro attachment. Using and riding this scooter one-handed can prove to be a problem and hence why you need to go back to accessory number one and get yourself a helmet because if you do try to do the one-handed thing, let me tell you, you will come off. I've come close. But let me tell you, the fourth thing that you want to get for your 9Bot Max scooter is something to hold everything that you've got with you. Uh, one of the things you could hold could be, that's right, as you go out for a bit of security, your padlock and your cable. But the other thing is you can hold your phone, you can hold your wallet, you can hold a heap of things in this and introducing the handlebar bag. This bag comes in two or three litre variants and has been a lifesaver on numerous occasions where you can throw your keys in here, you can put your padlock, you can put your chain in here uh, whilst tracking around the countryside. And for as little as 25 Australian dollars, you can attach this little gem to the front of your scooter and know that your accessories, your phone, uh, your wallet are safe while you're traveling around the place and enjoying the scenery as well. You can carry a spare battery in there for your GoPro as well if you wanted to. It's new, there's, it's endless what you could use for this thing. A mate of mine chucks a spare speaker in there and Scott, Scott Peachy from uh, Technically Speaking will hate this because this, my mate is a Gen Xer and he's riding around with a, <laughs> with a speaker in there uh, putting a bit of tunes out. But look, that's the fifth accessory that I would suggest you get for your 9 Bot Max scooter. There you have it YouTube family and friends, we have provided you five must get accessories for your 9 Bot scooter to enjoy, have some security, have some safety and a whole lot of convenience and fun. These, these five items will ensure that you have the opportunity to enjoy your scootering around, having a bit of fun out and about. Uh, and just maximizing every bit of opportunity that you've got with your scooter. Not to mention that you keep it secure and safe as well. None of these accessories in this video have been provided to me free of charge. All of these accessories I have paid for with my own money. So no sponsorship on this video whatsoever. Uh, I don't have any affiliates to these items as well, but I will link the areas where I did get my items from. I hope this helps you with your accessory hunting. Enjoy. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, or if you didn't like the video, just go to another channel and hit that thumbs up button twice. Anyway, thank you so much for viewing this video. I really appreciate you coming and joining the YouTube family that we're creating here. Love life, live the dream, and I'll see you in the next video.